places on the ocean's floor was only just discovered in the 1990s. And my degree is one of a handful of people to ever see it in person. Without a doubt, one of the most amazing things that I had ever seen in the bottom of the ocean, and it was while filming for Blue Planet, it was in the Gulf of Mexico. And I noticed there's something out in the distance, couldn't tell exactly what, but it looked like a dark band. And as we approached it, the dark band became a donut. I saw this donut that was black in the center. What the heck is that? And so, as we get closer and closer to it, I noticed that the black band had what appeared to be kind of steam over it. And then I looked, and there was water lapping against the shoreline. This band was a ring of muscles. And inside the ring of muscles was a lake. And it's like, wait a minute. I'm already underwater. We went out over the water in this lake and tried to descend in it and bounced off. It was so super saline and dense that the submarine couldn't go down in it. We literally bounced off. And as we bounced off, we sent ripples heading back to the shoreline. It was insane.
Dos cineastas colegas de James Cameron, director de las películas Avatar y Titanic, han fallecido en un accidente de helicóptero en Australia. Andrew White, de 52 años, y Mike de Gruy, de 60, estaban trabajando en un documental con el director de cine y la revista National Geographic cuando se produjo el accidente al poco de despegar al sur de Sydney. De acuerdo con las informaciones de los medios de comunicación locales, ambos se encontraban en Australia trabajando en un documental sobre Papúa, Nueva Guinea. White había trabajado para Cameron en seis expediciones documentales en el fondo del océano. De Gruy, un buzo y piloto submarino, ganador del Emmy con 30 años de experiencia en filmación oceánica, dirigió la fotografía submarina de la película de Cameron Últimos Misterios del Titanic. El director de cine ha declarado en un comunicado emitido por National Geographic que los dos han muerto haciendo lo que más amaban.